Hey y'all, thanks for joining me today here on Instinctive Addiction. I got a quick little video that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, it's called my stress reliever. Yeah, that's right, my stress reliever. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that deals with stressful situations, work-related sometimes. Uh, there are days that, that you know, by the time I can leave and get in my truck to come home that I'm mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally drained, just completely exhausted. Uh, man, it's all I can do just to make it home some days. And don't get me wrong, I have a very, very blessed career. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm so thankful for, for what I do and where God's put me. And uh, I've, I've prospered. Uh, I love what I do. I love taking care of people. I love uh, trying to help folks. And uh, along with that sometimes comes with responsibility, problems and issues and things that you just have to deal with. So when you have those days that you're just overwhelmed, uh, putting out fires, making people happy, uh, taking care of things, getting things done all day long, there comes a time that you just have to unwind. And I'm talking about through the week sometimes. So with me, I have a stress reliever that I wanted to share with you guys. And, and it's for real. It's absolutely for real. When I walk into my house, and if I have the opportunity, if I just don't have to do anything else, the first thing I do typically is I'll walk in and I'll grab one of my bows and my arrows. And I'll come out here and I'll shoot a few rounds. And it just seems to me like all that stress just kind of goes away. I just It just puts me in the right frame of mind. I forget about whatever troubles were going on that day. They just tend to leave. It's kind of like a... A mental connection that, that that I get and and it makes me thankful and appreciate what the Lord has given me first of all the ability physically to to do these kind of things and uh, for blessing me even financially where I can, can buy the stuff that I want and like and, and like to tinker with and do and all that um, but God has just been so good he's been so good to me uh, I have been through a lot of trials and I'm going to tell you, if you don't have your priorities right, believe me, he will do whatever it takes to get those priorities right. You have to put him first. And I mean it, guys. Uh, believe me when I tell you that I have been whipped. Yes, I have. If you don't put him first, if you put things, your hobbies, whatever you enjoy doing, if it's archery, fishing, hunting, wh whatever the case may be, Believe me, the Lord will rearrange things in your life to make you put him first. Yes, he will. And it's not pleasant when he does that. But he does it because he loves us. Absolutely loves us. Uh, with a love that we, we can never understand. So everything that happens is for the good. Uh, like Romans 8, 28. All things work together for the good to those that love God, who are called according to his purpose. That includes me. Uh, so I know that whatever he does, it's for my own good. But I am very thankful that he has brought me through the things that he has and has allowed me such a blessed year this year. This has been one of the greatest years of my life, guys. Uh, from where I was at last year uh, and the year before with some physical impairments and things, uh, there was a time, guys, I didn't believe I'd ever be able to draw a bow back again. Just physical issues and things. Uh, that I won't even go into, but I, I thought I'd never be able to do it again. So I'm so thankful to get to do this. So point is, if you're stressed out and you do have a bow, grab your bow, walk outside, get you some arrows, and go to flinging them and just get your mind right, get it clear, get it off all the things of the world, soak in what God has given you and let him talk to you spiritually. See, that's what happens with me. When I get out here by myself and it's just me and the targets and whatnot, it's like, there's a spiritual connection. I can honestly hear the Lord speaking to me in my spirit. I know it sounds strange, but he does. And he speaks to me through my spirit, and, and I feel it here in my heart. I, I just, I, I get some clarity, and I relax. And I think and reflect on just how good he is and how blessed I am. So guys, uh, I want you to take this uh, advice from me. 
Don't let too much get to you. It all passes. Even if you have a terrible day, it will pass. There will be better days, just like today. I had one of the best days of my life today. Just great, great. But compared to yesterday, <laughs> not in day difference, not in day. Uh, Stress-wise, anyway. So I'm gonna shoot a couple of arrows. And one thing I want to share with you guys real quick. When I walk in and I grab a bow like this one here, like this particular bow that I've got that Jeff Lamar built me, the reason that I use this bow so much is because I know how much time and effort and labor went into building such a work of art, a functioning work of art. And uh, hello, Kay, say hello. Yeah. We're videoing. Yeah. Huh? Um. Oh yeah, I'll fix it for you in just a second. I love my grandkids, yes I do. And they love to shoot also. But bows like this that he has built, and actually, uh-uh, don't get on the table. Bows that he's built like this and put all of his work and effort into, and everybody else does, it makes you appreciate how much work went into something. And that's why I love to grab these, just like the arrows that I build. And I, wow. I, I love I love using equipment that, that I have put my own labor into, just like building a custom arrow. Man, when you get the perfect arrow built and you've spent the time uh, building it and tuning it, getting it to shoot perfect, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. That's just all part of it. But I know how much effort goes into building custom bows, and it makes me appreciate the beauty of the wood and the craftsmanship alone. And I love all bows. I don't care what kind they are. I love to shoot them all. It doesn't matter to me. But there is something special about grabbing that beautiful wood bow and just thinking about it when you hold it the finished product a functioning work of art and i mean one that performs very well very very well matter of fact i'm gonna shoot it a couple of times and uh show you guys how i relax typical evening come home before dark don't have a lot of time just sling a few arrows let me show you guys how this is i'll shoot the old wolf target a couple of times here and show you my way of relaxing Look at that, especially when you're popping 10 rings. Love it, man. Here we go. I'm gonna shoot him one more time. Oh my gosh, perfect. Look what a group this thing shoots. This is one bad little bow. Jeff Lamar is a fine bow, you guys. I'm telling you that now. He is as fine as it gets. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna take this to the next big shoot, which will be in Tannehill. The Howard Hill Classic. I will be shooting this bow. I really will. Oh my gosh. That is so accurate. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Find you a way to get out there and spend some time outdoors. Clear your mind. Thank God for everything he's done. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please, please give your heart to him. I promise you, you will never regret it. It's the best thing you will ever do. Ever. Trust me. Just uh, let him be your Lord and Savior. You will never, ever regret it, I promise you. Knowing that you got a home in heaven and enjoying the blessings here on this earth that he will provide for you and taking care of you in every situation. Thank you, guys. Uh, hope you have a blessed night. Love you all. Until next time, goodbye.